Now on to our big story tonight at 9. Friends and family gather to remember an 18-year-old woman killed in a car crash earlier this week. But as Sam Kramer reports now, they are mourning more than just her death. Sam joins us live from her scene to explain. Yeah, hi there, Ted. Michelle Romero and her boyfriend were expecting a baby boy in about three months from now. Tonight, that boyfriend has lost them both while his best friend is charged with killing them. Huddled together around a temporary memorial, Juan De Luna can't quite fathom reality. I don't even know how I'm managing to, you know, keep, keep straight right now, but I know she would want me to be, you know. The memories and Polaroids are all he has left of his girlfriend, 18-year-old Michelle Romero, that we're expecting his son come spring. Loved it, man. But Tuesday night, DeLuna was forced to say goodbye. A criminal complaint says they were riding in a friend's SUV when the driver lost control, crashing into two parked cars near 18th and Mead. Paramedics determined Romero and her unborn baby died unseen. This is State of Wisconsin versus uh, Ramiro Esteban Baca. Prosecutors say 18-year-old Ramiro Baca did not have a license and wasn't carded when he bought beer from a liquor store before the crash. Nurses told police Baca reeked of booze when they treated his wounds and that his blood alcohol content was above the legal limit at 0.136. This is an extremely dangerous situation with an extremely young individual who shouldn't have uh, had access to alcohol in the first place, uh, but it's going fast enough the vehicle appears to come airborne. Baca faces six total counts, including homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle. Still, DeLuna says he forgives his best friend for what happened. I know it wasn't intentionally because, I mean, he opened up his doors for me and my girlfriend for like three, four months. Like. Now, Baca's bail was set, Bond, I should say, was set at $250,000 cash, and he'll return here to court next week for a preliminary hearing. Meanwhile, the victim's family has set up a GoFundMe to fund the funeral expenses. We have a link to that on fox6now.com. We're live tonight in Racine, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Every part of this story is heartbreaking. Sam, thank you.